Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I am a pediatric physical therapist. I'm here with my co-instructor. This is Sebastian. He is eight years old. He has spastic quadriplegic cerebral palsy. I'm here with his nurse, Erin. And uh, I wanted to go through Los, uh, Los Amigos Research has uh, a power wheelchair skills test. So I wanted to talk about some of these basic skills. The first one is turning the power wheelchair on and off. I remember on the last wheelchair, it had switches on here that uh, the one that you had that was loaner before. A real big switch on the side. A real big switch on the side. And on that one, Sebastian was, when you didn't want it on, he was really good at flipping it and turning it on. This one has a button that he pushes at the top. How does, does is Sebastian able to turn this one on? Not on purpose, at least not that I can tell. You said once on the bus? Once, once on the bus, on the, well, not a, it's a, it's a van, a wheelchair accessible van that we take to school and uh, the driver, was quite annoyed because he turned it on and started hit the stick and it was it was kind of a mess. So in this case it's probably safer for Sebastian not to be able to turn it on easily. Uh, the next skill is that he could maintain contact on the joystick. It looks like he's had his hand on the joystick all the time. Uh, you usually have to place his hand on though don't you? Yes I do. Uh, I have to open his fist up and put it on there and he likes to keep it on there for a pretty long time. He will push this whole whole joystick top right off though, so you have to keep an eye on it. And uh, sometimes he'll just let go and... So um, so then you just replace his hand? Replace his hand. Does he he reach for it spontaneously? Or yes. You, yeah, but he's just not able to grab it himself? Uh, not generally. Every once in a while he does, but not, not a good grip. Not like something solid that you want to, you know, make driving with. And I think we'll see he's able to push and go forward. About how long can he go forward by himself? Um, until I stop him, uh, I've, I've seen him go for an entire track field, but he, I usually have to make adjustments because he's trying to turn into things and that's when I usually have to stop him. Yeah, so I've noticed that uh, his school physical therapist has this joystick turned in a little yes. bit because when he pushes forward, his arm goes in a little bit. It goes in quite a lot, yeah. Yes. We've had to adjust it and adjust it and adjust it again. All right, so that this is turned in a little bit to accommodate for that so that with his normal push, it goes straight forward. So that instead of, because normally when he pushes forward, he comes in like this. So we adjusted this in so that when he pushes forward, it, it goes more straight. It goes straight, right. Um, I think I, we saw you working on the stop. The stop on this one looks like, does he have some days where he does better than others? He does. Uh, he usually, he's better at turning or like, He'll pull back more often than he'll let go and stop. Um, he doesn't generally, he doesn't have quite have enough control to just like pull back and hold it in a neutral position. Uh -huh. So when he wants to stop, he pretty much has to let go uh -huh. entirely. Uh, and he does do that sometimes, but it's not, it's it's hard for him to do because his grip is so strong on it. And uh, he usually wants to more like pull back and that kind of makes him turn a little bit or, right. or stuff like that. But when he wants to stop, he has to full on let go. And he does do it sometimes, but not consistently. Um, the next one is it tends and looks in the direction of the wheelchair. I know that when we had earlier, we had a wheelchair that the headrest didn't give as much support and he was looking up at the ceiling. Does he do a pretty good job of looking he forward? He looks pretty, pretty well forward. Uh, we kind of have it tilted to where he's looking a little more at the joystick because uh -huh. uh, we want him to realize cause and effect. Um, but yeah, for the most part, uh, he, he doesn't look up very much, mostly because this won't let him, but uh, he, he tends to look down at his arm or, you know, off to the side like that. And the last one in this section is stop spontaneously to avoid obstacles. Um, does he, I think he does some turning to avoid obstacles, but he not does. stopping. Uh, I've seen him do it like maybe two or three times, not totally stopping, totally stopping. He'll just let go and because he was headed towards a fence one time and he just let go because he was about to smash into the fence. And uh, then other than that, but um, but he does more of turning to he avoid. Does, he often will pull back to turn. I know you want to get going. OK, OK. All right. Well, he'll that's pull back to turn like that. And uh, he'll, you know, come off to the side like this sometimes to turn. But that's usually how he avoids things. He often, he doesn't usually like to stop. He likes to go, go, go. All right, well, why don't you just go, go, go? All right. All right. You ready? There you go. All right. Back it up. All right. Ready? Got to push. I know you're all tense. You got to push and relax. <laughs> See yeah. you later, Sebastian. Push.
Push. Good. Push. There you go. There you go. Push. Make an adjustment. Or turn. That's fine. Push. Come on over here. Good. Come on, Sebastian. Come over here. Go see them. Come on, sweetie. Come on over. Sebastian, adjustment. over here. Pull back. Pull back. Good. Pull back. Pull back. There you go. That's it. Nice job, Sebastian. Thanks for coming over. I hope this is helpful for you, Sebastian. You are doing so awesome at that. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. If you liked this video and would like to be notified by email when the next video comes out, click the subscribe button here and click the golden bell icon and ensure notifications are enabled on your account.